Welcome to Rob Schmidt Tonight. I'm David Harris Jr. in for Rob this evening. And I've got to say, wait a minute, hold on a minute. Something is hitting me now. I am literally, I'm literally hosting for the first time ever a show on the greatest network in America, Newsmax. It's, I got to pinch myself. I'm so excited to be here. And friends, I'm going to be here for the next two nights. So thank you so much for Newsmax for this opportunity. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Comrade Biden. More evidence is piling up against the man sitting in the White House. The latest batch of, ba of Biden bank records released by the House Oversight Committee revealed Joe Biden and his family received a total of $20 million from foreign entities in Ukraine, Kazakhstan, and Russia while he was vice president. The biggest source of the money came from Russia, a Russian oligarch, Yelena Baturina, the billionaire wife of Moscow's former mayor a couple tied to Vladimir Putin. In February 2014, Biden and his family received $3.5 million from Bacharina. Bank records show that all that money went straight to Rosemont Seneca Thornton, a shell company belonging to Hunter and Devin Archer. One year later, Bacharina was invited to that famous dinner with Biden at the Cafe Milano in Washington, D.C., Fast forward to early in Biden's presidency, after Putin invaded Ukraine, Baturina was conveniently left off a sanction list of Russian oligarchs. Bank records also show the Bidens received millions from the Ukrainians. And a Kazakhstani oligarch who wired Hunter $140,000 to buy a Porsche, Chairman Comer was on the show last night laying out the committee's latest findings. After sending six subpoenas, uh, subpoenas to six different banks to obtain these records. Joe Biden was the brand. He admitted that uh, they, they didn't do anything like a normal business. They didn't provide any service. They didn't sell anything. Uh, what they did was sold access to the federal government. They peddled Joe Biden's butt to our adversaries around the world and took millions and millions of dollars. Well, Comer added his committee to still being blocked from obtaining more bank rec records. Uh, and he now says he plans to subpoena both Joe and Hunter. Last night, former President Trump weighed in on all of this in an exclusive interview with Newsmax host and my good friend, Eric Bowling. Take a look. $32 million that went into his accounts and the various accounts of the family. That's a tremendous amount of money. And nothing was done for it. It was just a bribe. It's just a bribe of extortion and a bribe. When you see him talking about the billion dollars for the prosecutor, this is a president who's fully compromised. He's so afraid of China. And the reason he's afraid is because I believe they paid him a tremendous amount of money. And he doesn't want people to find out about it. Well, I happen to agree uh, with uh, the former president, Donald Trump, there. I don't think that Joe wants anybody to find out about what took place, who got paid, where all that money went. Joe continues to just deny, deny, deny. He never had any conversations with his son whatsoever about his foreign business dealings. Are you buying that? I'm not. For more on this, let's bring in Florida Congressman Greg, Greg Stubbe. He's on the Select Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government, and Congressman Stubbe... Uh, has something to share. Congressman, welcome to the show. You have some exclusive news that you're going to break on tonight's show. Congressman, tell us about that. Yeah, so you, you laid out a, a, a great case uh, for a, a number of different crimes, and you laid the factual predicate for those crimes. Uh, and tomorrow, I intend on filing impeachment resolution on Joe Biden for bribery, uh, for extortion, obstruction of justice, fraud, uh, financial involvement in drugs and prostitution, all of these things. You just touched on the highlights of some of those, but we have all the facts and evidence now. And in the beginning of this Congress, Republicans wanted to make sure that we did the investigations, that we got the information before the American people. You have witness testimony. You have financial records. You have the laptop. You have text messages. You have phone conversations. You have all of this evidence now to corroborate and support impeachment articles against the president. And I intend on filing those tomorrow on all of these corruption and bribery charges that uh, you just hit the top of the iceberg on. So, Congressman, your articles of impeachment against Joe Biden, 
Uh, for all the things you just mentioned, bribery, extortion, obstruction of justice, fraud, financial involvement in, in drugs and prostitution, and you're saying you have the receipts, you have the proof, uh, will these impeachment articles, when will they be released, Congressman? They'll be filed tomorrow, so we'll do a press release with all the details. It's pages upon pages of all the different things that we have gathered as Republicans, as the conference. You know, you had the investigation and in ways and means on the IRS whistleblowers. That's part of it. You had uh, oversight doing investigations and then making things public. You have weaponization doing things and making things public. Uh, you have a lot of different facts that are floating around out there. Facts that were corroborated by witnesses like Tody Bobolinsky, Devin Archer, all these different things. And we took all those things, put them together, and uh, they all fit with all of these different federal crimes. And if it was anybody else, if it was a Republican member of Congress, we'd have been, we'd have been prosecuted a long time ago for these crimes. And there should not be a different standard of justice for the Biden family than there is for the rest of the country. You know, I'm so glad you're breaking this on the show tonight. I, I hear from so many people, and I watch some of the other shows that are out there, you know, some of the more left-leaning, uh, in my opinion, propaganda networks, but they just continue to try to tell their audience that there's no proof, there's no facts, it's baseless. What do you say to them? Yeah, I say, look at all the facts that just the IRS whistleblowers talked about as it related to Hunter Biden in the Department of Justice. Here's where the obstruction of justice comes in, where the Department of Justice wouldn't allow the whistleblowers to investigate the big guy, wouldn't allow for subpoenas, wouldn't allow for search warrants, wouldn't allow for the investigation into the big guy for his 10 percent. Uh, there is a litany of evidence here that there have been crimes that have been committed. And even if it was just to the family members and not Joe, that's still a crime. If my wife was getting millions of dollars from foreign governments, you don't think that's bribery or extortion and that falls in line with us. Um, but there was things that Grassley made public on the Senate side of the $5 million payment as it relates to Burisma and Ukraine. There is so much factual predicate for these articles of impeachment. Uh, and I'm hoping that Kevin McCarthy in the House will start the impeachment process uh, when we get back after recess. Well, and one more thing. Tell me about this. Tell me about the Hunter Act. You plan to introduce that tomorrow as well. Yeah, the Hunter Act, which is helping understand narcotic traces at the executive residence. Uh, we need to get to the bottom of the fact that the Secret Service is covering for the first family. There's now been reporting that it was somebody within Joe Biden's orbit. We all know where this cocaine came from, and you can't tell me that the Secret Service doesn't know where that cocaine came from. I've been to the White House a number of times when Trump was president. The level of security you have to go through to get in the only people that don't have to go through all that security is the is the Biden family, yeah. the the uh, executive family, yep. and uh, we need to get to the bottom of exactly where all that came from. We the absolutely American people do. know where it came from, but uh, I guess we're going to have to help them along the way. We need the proof, Congress Congressman Greg Stubbe. Thank you so much for joining me today. Anytime. Thanks for having me.